Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we're gonna to be talking about kerf and how to make really tight kerf um, settings here. So if you don't know what kerf is, it's basically the amount of material that gets destroyed by the laser as it cuts around the edges here. And normally, if you don't adjust for kerf, if you put these two pieces together, they'd be super loose and it would just fall apart. Since I adjusted for kerf in a really tight manner here, I'm able to just touch the tips of each of these areas and they lock into place without falling apart. As you can see, they're kind of free floating here. And then if I push them together by hand, it's really hard to push together by hand, but you can hear them snapping together as I push it tighter and tighter and tighter all the way down until it's all the way together here. And I'm gonna stop right there so I can still pull it apart, but you can still see the gap in there. So what I do is I create my kerf this tight so I can just tap it together with a rubber tip hammer so it's completely solid where there will be no gaps left. I could do it by hand right now, but I wanna be able to pull this apart later here because this goes to some of those penny games that you've seen in a previous video, but they just happen to work and snap together perfectly like this too and be a good example for this video here. Now with that said, I'm gonna show you an example in Illustrator of how to create your own slot and tab that will be really tight and with the amount of kerf that I use here. Um, the reason why I do it so tight is I uh, do this so you don't have to use glue. A lot of people will use glue and they don't adjust for kerf and then it's just kind of hard to hold something there, wait for it to dry, and then you can assemble the rest of your item. With this, you just kind of place it in place, hit it with a rubber tip hammer, it snaps into place and it's good to go. So let's jump over to Illustrator. I'm gonna show you the slot and tab system that I use and then you can kind of work off of that from there. Now that we're in Illustrator, I'm gonna share with you guys the slot and tab system that works for me. You can adjust kerf differently depending on your style or how you wanna do it, but this is just the way that I do it here. We're gonna be creating this little slot and tab as you can see here. Um, if you didn't have it adjust for kerf, this would just slide into place. As soon as you grab this tab, it would pop off. Um, and with our adjusted one over here, it'll be tighter where it'll slide into place. You'll hammer it down with like a rubber tip hammer and it'll lock into place here and it won't just pop off there. The reason why I put varies between 0.125 inches and 0.138 inches is because proof grade material can vary that much. And this has worked for me with uh, all proof grade material from like Glowforge, for example, but there's also other materials out there that's around this size. If yours is thinner, you may have to adjust for that. But um, with that said, we're gonna be just basing this off of um, an eighth of an inch here, which is that 0.125. And as you can see, this is our first example here. This one does not have kerf adjusted. So I have it right at 0.125 inches. And you can adjust the thickness of this with kerf if you want to, but I prefer to adjust from top to bottom. And I'm gonna show you why with this uh, piece all the way in the bottom right here in just a second. Um, but uh, you're also essentially adjusting for kerf both ways, both the thickness and the height if you're all the way up on like 0.138 inches. Um, and I'm gonna show you that as well here in just a second. But this is essentially the slot that we're starting out with is a 0.125 inches by a three quarters of an inch, which is 0.75 inches. And that is the same exact size as this tab here. So when you put the tab in here um, and you line it up, let me zoom in so you can see this. So if you actually line up this, the slot and tab, they meet up perfect. You see this line meets up with this line and then when the laser comes in and destroys like the inside of this tab and the outside of this slot, it's gonna be loose and it's just gonna pop right out of there. So what I like to do is I like to adjust for the height here for most of my items and then just type in the exact thickness of the width or a little bit tighter to adjust for kerf on the width as well. And I'm gonna sh share with you guys that here in just a second. Now let me show you what the adjusted kerf looks like. So the adjusted kerf is the exact same uh, slot except it's 0 0.013 inches uh, shorter or um, yeah, not as long here from top to bottom. And what that looks like 
is if you move this together, let me zoom way back in again, and then you put this and overlap it, you can see they don't meet up now. They're just barely off center by that 0 0.013 inches here. And what that does is whenever the laser destroys the inside of this tab or the outside of the tab and then the inside or outside of the slot here, however you wanna look at it, um, it is meeting up with that perfect line that I showed you earlier and it'll be a really nice tight fit like I showed you at the beginning of the video. So let's zoom out and share with you guys how you can create this and the reason why I don't do the width here as well. So to create this, you just want to grab your little rectangle tool. You can click anywhere and then you can do your width. So we're going to just do 0.125 and then our height is going to be that three quarters of an inch of so 0.75. And then that is our slot. Um, and then to get the tab, you can literally copy and paste. And that is your tab. So right now that slot and tab are identical. They will work, but you will have to glue it because that laser destroying that edge is going to cause it to be loose. So now we have to create the actual outside of our design here. So kind of like this uh, square here, you can use any type of square that you want, any size. Um, we'll just go ahead and hold shift. We'll make it this size here. That looks good. We'll highlight them both and we're going to align those just so they're centered and cohesive here. And then um, I'm going to just copy this over and this can be our little tab. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. We don't need it to be that big. And you can align that on the edge of your tab here. When you have that highlighted, just uh, grab your Pathfinder tool. If you don't have it, click on Window, choose Pathfinder, and then you can come up to Unite. And now we now have our tab and slot system here. So now that we have the tab and slot here, um, I actually didn't center that. Let me go ahead and center that really quick. I'm going to undo and center this. And then we're going to weld it together. There we go. So now that we have our slot and tab system, they're not adjusted for curve right now. So literally, and the way that I do it is you just select that slot. You come up here, you erase inches and put a minus sign. And then you type in point zero one three and then hit enter and that's it that's all you got to do it's going to be super tight um, whenever you you assemble it with a rubber tip hammer and the reason why i do that is if you have um like a box on the edge because you can't really adjust for the width of material on the edge of a box you have to adjust the curve for the height anyways so that's the reason why i do it this way you can do it however you want. Like I said, you can adjust for both the width and height. So it's super ultra tight. And that's what I kind of do here because this works with this variation between this, in my experience, with a Glowforge. Your laser may have a different curve setting. So you will have to kind of adjust and, and um, uh, toy with this in your own way. Kind of experiment with your laser. Um, and this is a good way to test it is just a little square slot tab system here that you can test your own curve with and uh, it, To create the actual like edge of a box here. It's literally the same thing you just go to the inside of your slot here and After you have it all adjusted for curve like this All you got to do is go back up to your pathfinder and then you'll click on minus front or back depending on what it is I think the slot is in the back here. There you go and that is how you create that. Now you have that offset. Um, if you can see that, let me zoom in so you can see that. You have that offset here of just 0 0.013 inches again. And that's going to create a super tight fit whenever you pound that together. It's going to hold the side of your boxes together without glue. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I do the super tight kerf fit here. And like I said, if you have a better way, that's great, and you can let me know down in the comments below. I love learning too. Uh, other than that, if you have any other questions, let me know, and I'd be happy to help you out, and we'll talk to you guys in the next one.